Piper, it was a puzzle. Really, it was just working together to figure out what is she telling us and how can we help her? And I would say Boys Town was the place that we were able to figure that out. Piper is outgoing, she's happy, she's got a huge personality, and she's just a pretty special little girl all around. Piper didn't cry when she was born. She actually needed to be intubated immediately because she ended up having a brain injury at birth. HIE stands for hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. The brain was not getting enough oxygen or nutrients that it needed, and so for those reasons, Piper ended up having strokes. And because of those strokes, she had some deficits in the way she was um, moving her body, being able to use parts of her body, see, eat. I wanted to do a more prolonged EEG where she was monitored under the most latest diagnostic techniques that we can really look at the deep structures of the brain and catch the brain activity of how they talk to one another in different stages, awake, drowsy, asleep, to catch even silent seizures that one couldn't see. We found out that her cells were having trouble communicating, and that indicated to me that her HIE, the hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy, was likely due to some sort of chemical imbalance or some sort of vitamin deficiency that she was missing. And so we did the proper lab work and were able to diagnose her appropriately and treat her appropriately. And now it's like wonderful and exciting to see her walking, learning words, learning shapes, smiling, using her arms, both arms to reach for things. Boys Town has provided us hope. It has led to all the things Piper's doing now, which we never thought possible. So it's pretty, a pretty amazing place. You can go anywhere and get an EEG done, but you have the epileptologist there, you have the neurologist there. To have that group working behind you to piece that puzzle together, I'm so grateful that we are that close to somewhere that was able to solve that puzzle um, in such a short amount of time and really maximize Piper's capabilities. With HIE, the prognosis is really unknown. It's kind of see as you go. Really, we just have to see what Piper's telling us. The more support she gets, the more we keep these seizures at bay, the more we give her the right kind of therapies, like physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy. We help her with her vision, with her walking, and just basically training her like you go to a gym every day. You train the brain to do these functions. The sky's the limit. Okay.